and that is life that is who we are we are nature we keep growing just like our surroundings they keep grazing every cycle of it it's it's maturity it's love it's self-love it's self-trusting in your process you know in some areas of your life you might be in springtime like all glowing let's say that in the journey of your you know your career is all glowing is this is like flowers but maybe in the section of your personal life with your partner you're still like in the working process trust that too you know trust it all it's it's part of it's it's how it works maybe you just had a baby and you're like in the stages of like you know nurturing like that baby just wakes up and you just have to nurture and give and give and give and give and you don't receive a smile you don't receive anything until all of a sudden that baby smiles back at you and and then your life change in that moment you're like oh my god like this is this is growing in front of me thank goodness and that's that's who we are we never stop growing like that you know think of it like a baby imagine not having a baby you know to keep growing it's just it's just inevitable and I, it just feels like when we get old like an adult or like young it starts as a teenager anything that possibly goes wrong with us now we just are defined by this situation and we carry that for the rest of our lives and my go my goal with our podcast is to you don't have to spend that much energy holding that you can just let it go and trust that the, your process and your journey it's beautiful it's special another great metaphor for this is you know your phone you know if you don't drop things like imagine you are your phone and you download so many apps so many apps and they're there they're they're not open they're just there your phone is is wasting batter, batteries the more apps you have even if you're, you're if you don't use your phone your phone is it's like it just runs out of battery it's just how it is it has so many apps so look at your apps in the light in your life that you have downloaded that is waste of energy let go eventually you with your phone you have to let go of apps that you don't need that you hardly use that you don't really find fun anymore that you grew out it doesn't matter you eventually have to close those apps because they will keep draining your battery you will have to keep plugging your phone so look for those apps in your life that you have closed but they're still there on your phone in your brain and cut them off shut them out close them get out those apps of your life that you don't use that once you did but you don't do it anymore let it go those are trauma those are bad stories that you keep telling your mind let it all go and you will see that you will have more energy you will have more space to keep up and and things will flow nicely you know it's it's part of the journey it's it's letting things go and be okay with that yes save the storage that's right save the storage for good stuff to arrive at you unless you let go you won't receive you you you, you know it, it gets again to a point that your phone cannot download any new apps that you really like now so don't you find yourself deleting all the app you're like oh my gosh i still have this like what do i need this for or like delete things that don't 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 work it is not easy but it's a process it's a process of understanding what matters and those are the questions i'm talking about what really matters to you now and those things that used to matter before don't and you don't have to have them in your screen all day you can still have it as a tool but you don't have to download it you can still go there obviously but you don't have to have it you have to you don't have to carry that with you you know and and that is that is a, that's a powerful thing 
when your capacity is full, there's simply no space for the new, like in nature. Yes, everything needs pruning. You said it. It's 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 a it's it's a it's a journey. And the good news is that, you know, you can grow out of things but then things can come back. The good news is that every time you delete one of those apps or that one of those things in your life that you let go, it you're not letting go of the knowledge or the message that it taught you. You let you're letting go of whatever you don't need from it anymore. You think you need it, but you don't. You're smarter, you're stronger, you're faster, or you're wiser. It's, it's, it's trusting that you are, that that app or that message or that experience really made you stronger. You have to let it go. You don't have to carry that with you as a reminder of what happened or anything. So ask yourself those questions. What do you have to let go? And... Let me know questions of what scares you, what topic you want to talk about. What This is the depth that I'm talking about that we want to go further and deeper into. You know, what what's trauma? What causes trauma? What's mental health? You know, what, what it is that you want to talk about that you want to go deeper into your, you know, for your success, for your, for your, for your life and, and not just yours, but your environment and, and what makes you, what makes you wake up at night? Like what, what scares you? What is fear too, you know? And, and, and those are the things that I feel like I wanted to touch a little bit uh, after like, you know, I can feel that a lot is going on in the world, myself included. And I've been reading a lot about people just struggling to wake up in the morning to 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 start the day and and to like find something positive to go and and to feel and and to be positive for the outcome and 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 you know today my advice is sit down force yourself to sit down grab a pen and paper paper and Right, why you're grateful and start with the fact that you open your eyes and you feel something. Now, the fact that you don't feel the good things is one thing, but at least you're alive and, and, and life is it's a special journey. And even though you're not feeling special right now, it's a, it's a journey that you're going to fight for. And that is the beginning of your day and what it is that you want to fight for that day. It's or accomplish, I would say, it's um, it's the journey of your day, and and starts with gratitude, start with love, with self love, and start with, you know, closing your eyes and breathe and and just feel this light that surrounds you. It's it's real, and and and, and it's here, and and it's it's everywhere. You know, you look out the trees, and the trees are there. Like this, there's colors, there's beauty, and. Once you start going little by little and step by step and to feeling that you are not alone, that you're surrounded by nature, by trust, by light, by beauty, then, you know, and it's all created here. Um, that's the beginning of, of a journey that you will have to double down little by little and not feeling that everything has to be perfect. Because even that moment of insecurity and, and overcoming that is that's a per- perfect moment to overcompensate so much all right send me your requests uh, for those of you that don't know I do have podcast I will show you right here I have my computer my website and it's called the Danai Garcia website hello lady guys some girls where is I have a new phone and I feel like where is my the button that switches the camera? Where is that, guys? Can you show me? This one is there. Oh, I think it's there. There we go. So this is my it's Denai Garcia pod, Denai Gar- official Denai Garcia dot com. This is my um, 
website, you go to here, down. It's all about treating your life like a garden. And then you go, podcast is happy, my guests. If you put here or listen or whatever, you can, it, go, it shows all my, yeah, all my guests. This is Dr. Russell Kennedy. We talk about anxiety. Uh, our sweet Ashley Sahavian. Um, Joe, our custom designer, Sharon Lexter, Garrett, our sweet Garrett. So you click, for example, Garrett's episode and it shows here. You can watch the, you can listen to it here or watch the, the video. You can stay in touch here, submit your information and I will be, um, you will be getting all kinds of updates with new guests and all that. And um, yeah, so these are all my guests. Each one of them are so special. Stephen Ugg, I love him. Um, and yeah, and if you want to go back, hello. <laughs> yeah, so it, this is, you can find the latest news and projects. And obviously on my YouTube channel, I have Cooking with La Familia that we're going to recap again too. And uh, I'm a, obviously my social media. And yes, stay in touch always. So yeah, so official Danai Garcia podcast. You can subscribe like I show you guys here. So you will have information of, you know, how um, new projects, like when the next episode comes. And, and, and we're definitely, certainly going to be in touch. Uh, submit. You can send me um, your questions in direct messages and I will, or email me officialdenaigarcia.com at gmail, sorry, officialdenaigarcia at gmail. You can, you know, you have my, right here at the end, it's my information you can email. So yeah, let's stay in touch. Let's get back on the game. I missed you guys. It's been so beautiful having this little surprise life and uh and i will see you guys soon um i adore each one of you thank you so much for the support and yes i do miss our karaoke and chats but don't worry we're gonna pick it up uh through zoom all right have a beautiful beautiful day and um hope each one of you feel a little bit better and don't forget to write your gratitudes and what you feel grateful for and I'll be seeing you very soon. Besos a todos. Stay safe and stay strong. Stay strong, always. <laughs>